Hi, my name is Noah Gift, and today I'm going to talk to you about how to build a console app with C Sharp that communicates with the AWS SDK. And what we're going to do is build out a tool that can list asynchronously all of the buckets in your account. So it's going to be intentionally small, but also very straightforward to reproduce on your end. All right, let's go ahead and get started. All right, let's get started with building a console application that talks to the AWS platform and lists buckets in S3. It's fairly straightforward to begin. I'm gonna say File, New, and go to uh, Project, and I'm gonna create a new project. So what I'm gonna select here is a console application uh, that allows it to run on Windows, Linux, or OS X. And notice here that uh, I can select which directory I'm going to go ahead and select a, a repo where I'm building a, a book project. And so we'll go through here and we'll go to .NET uh, AWS uh, Chapter 1. This looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and uh, select this. Now I'm going to go ahead and call this uh, AWS um, S3 list. And I can go to next here and make sure I'm targeting the .NET 6.0 uh, framework. Okay, now that I've got this, you can see this is uh, a Hello World, and just to test it out, you can notice that it launches Hello World Works. But I'm going to need to do a little more than that in that I want to be able to talk to the SDK, and so what I'm going to have to start with is going to the Tools section here and going to NuGet, which is the package manager that I'm going to use to install the AWS SDK. I'm going to select Manage NuGet Packages for Solution. All right, so I'm going to go through here and find AWS uh, SDK for S3. You can see here that uh, it's a very popular service, uh, 76 million downloads. And if I go ahead and select this, uh, I can select that I want to add it to the project. All I need to do is scroll down here and install the latest stable version. Okay, we're going to go ahead and uh, do this. Perfect, uh, this should take just a second. And now we know that it's installed. So it's very straightforward. And what I can do next here is now start to build out uh, an application that uses this code. So first up, I'm gonna say using uh, system. And then I'm gonna use some threading as well. So I'm gonna say using system dot threading tasks because we're going to uh, potentially use that for uh, one of the async calls. And next up, I want to uh, make a reference to that AWS S3 library. So we'll go ahead and uh, we'll say interact with, uh, with S3. Perfect. And now I'll say using uh, Amazon dot, and this will be able to autocomplete now with S3. And now I'll also want to use uh, Amazon S3 model. So we'll say using Amazon.S3.model as well. Okay, great. So I've, I've got this loaded up and this uh, allows me to then go ahead and create a new client for S3. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll say create uh, S3 client and so we'll say var s3 client equals new. So I'll need, need to make a new uh, instance uh, of this uh, AWS s3 client. And then I'll want to put some kind of a prompt here that just tells the user what's happening. And so uh, I can build that out with console.writeline. So we'll go here and we'll say console.writeline. Uh, great. And we'll call this thing. AWS bucket lister, or we'll say S3 bucket lister, S3 bucket lister. And I like to use the uh, the environment.newline to give us a new line. Uh, so there we go. Perfect. And uh, I'll now want to uh, build out a static method that can do async call. So Go ahead and build that out down here. We don't necessarily need to use a class for this. I can just keep it really simple. And uh, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna say list 
bucket buckets response. There we go. That's exactly what I want. And then I'm going to call this uh, my list buckets async here. And we'll go ahead and uh, also use I Amazon uh, S3 and we'll call this uh, S3 client. Okay, great. So, so again, what this is going to do is allow us to asynchronously communicate with uh, the with our API calls, which is which is really nice because it gives us incredible performance. So this will this will return an await, uh, and this will be the uh, S3 list bucket. Sorry, right, so it's basically going to give us an async handle here that I can iterate through uh, above. Now, if I go back up here. I can go through here and start to process these API calls. Let's go ahead and do that. We'll say process API calls async list AWS buckets. This looks good. All right, so let's go ahead and create a list variable. So this will be a list response here, and this will handle that await my list buckets um, and we'll, and we'll go ahead and pass in the S3 uh, client. And then uh, really we're almost done here. I'm going to go through and I'm going to say console dot, dot write line. And we'll say console dot write line. And I'll, I'll put a, something helpful in here that will list the number of buckets. I could see uh, for a user, you may want to know how many buckets you have. And then because I'm using the fancy uh, string formatting here. All I need to do is put that variable inside, which would be list response. And then we're just going to count. Uh, this is pretty handy. It just comes with, uh, there's a method that's that's hanging off of uh, list response dot buckets count. And we can just use that to to count uh, the number, the total number of buckets. And really the, the, there's only one uh, piece of logic left and that's the loop. So we'll say loop through the AWS uh, buckets. All right, nice. Let's go through here and say for each, and we'll go through and say S3 bucket uh, B in list response buckets. Let's go through here and do something. In this case, the do something will be just do a console uh, dot write line, and then just say B dot uh, you know bucket name. Now we could be a little bit fancy and uh, make things a little bit neater here. And I can put a, a string formatting uh, section and say, uh, you know, some, something useful uh, in, in addition to this and say, uh, you know, like bucket name or, you know, something like this. And then we can put in this into these curly brackets. All right, that looks pretty good. And if I look through here, do we have uh, any any um, errors? We do, we're missing a semicolon. That looks good. And now uh, I can just go through here and select this icon, start without debugging, and let's go ahead and, and uh, give our code a whirl. And what's neat about this uh, code example is that you can see that it was able to very easily uh, list out the first right line AWS S3 bucket lister. It counts the number of buckets. And then look, you can see bucket name and it's got the actual bucket name for each one of the instances. So very, very fast. I think that's the big thing about using the uh, async methods here on AWS. It's it's just ridiculously fast to make these API calls and, and, and get these results here. So we have a very high performance uh, console app using the AWS library and you can see here just all under you know about 30 lines of code uh, and so I would recommend uh, if you want to reproduce this you can go to uh, this project window that I'll just put in right here and this is uh, for the book I'm writing on AWS .NET AWS you can go into this repo and go to chapter one and take a look at this AWS S3 console app all right Talk to you soon.